Hello everyone, it's Michelle. I am continuing today with my total home makeover and I am doing my master bathroom today. So I'm gonna be starting off with this beautiful vase right here that I found at Ross uh, about two weeks ago. And I'm going to put this, this eucalyptus inside of it and it smells really, really good. It's perfect for any bathroom. So I'm gonna start off there. Then I'm gonna put a couple of candle holders and in the description I'll tell you where everything came from and if you have any questions about anything make sure to put them in the comments and I will get back with you so guys as always thank you for joining me today if you love home decor decorating or if you're just trying to turn your house into a home go ahead and click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on my home makeover series. So these beautiful candle holders right here, I did get these from Home Goods about a year ago. It's been about a year ago and I absolutely love the shape of it because they're so different. It's something unexpected and I absolutely love that. The color scheme in this bathroom is gray, white, and this really light aqua color and with accents of silver. Over here by the tub I'm going in with these two large apothecary jars one has my Epsom salt in it and I got this little it's actually a candy scoop I got those from that from Michaels and I think they do have that at the Dollar Tree as well and then on the other side I'm gonna put the same apothecary jar with bath bombs in it and you'll see that in a minute and once I show you everything that I put in place I'm going to back up and give you an overview of this, this entire bathroom. This piece right here was purchased at Ross. I think it's, it's been about three years now, but I've seen it in there several times since then. But it's you got to be lucky to find it. <laughs> So over here um, by the window, I have these beautiful wall plaques here that I got from Marshalls right above my decorative towels. Um, I'm going on top of this piece right here, I'm going to put a tray and it's a good place to put like perfume bottles or different things you want to corral, but I'm just gonna put some extra towels over here. Because this bathroom doesn't have a linen closet, I have to store my towels in the open or in this cabinet which I'll show you in a minute and these are my decorative towels and I did hang these with um, rubber bands and I do have a video showing how to display your towels in this way and I'll link that down below or I'll put an I card so over here are my curtains and I have two 96 inch panels right now and I'm gonna put these beautiful tassels on them and I did buy those tassels from someone on Facebook marketplace but um, Ross has tassels like these all the time and they're very inexpensive and I love display I love uh, tying back my curtains like this when it's basically just one window in the room because it just has a bigger impact now on the other side of the room I'm going to show you how I decorate this shelf this is a DIY shelf that I did but I'm going to put all white elements on the shelf.
So I got these beautiful roses that actually look like real roses uh, from Home Goods about a week ago. Um, and I absolutely love them. They look so real. Um, so I love decorating for spring and summer and this these roses just fit in perfectly. So have you already started decorating for spring or do you even decorate for spring? Some people don't change for the seasons. But of course, I'm one of those people that loves to do it. So <laughs> let me know in the comments if you decorate by the season. So this beautiful vase here I've had for a while. It is from Ross. And as you can see, I got more of those roses. I bought all that they had because they were inexpensive, actually. Um, if you were to buy this like on Amazon or somewhere else, these roses would be quite expensive. So that was a great deal. So I'm just going to put these these roses right here in this beautiful vase in the tray in the center of my vanity. And then I'm just going to add some small elements around it. One of my favorite candles, Cactus Blossom, and that is from Bath and Body Works. <laughs> I love the smell of, of Cactus Blossom. What's your favorite, favorite Bath and Body Works candle? If you do candles, some people don't do candles and I understand that. Um, but if you do, what's your favorite scent at Bath and Body Works? Because I'm, I'm, wa I'm wanting to try out something else. Um, but let me know what your favorite one is. Okay guys, I'm going to show you around the entire bathroom. If you have any questions about anything you see in the video, let me know in the comments. But I'm just going to take you around the entire bathroom one more time. All the lights and the mirrors are from Lowe's. Um, and I'm going to show you what I have in the drawer, how I have things organized. This top drawer is like everything for my teeth and then the second drawer is everything for my face. You know, I, I love Clinique and Lancome, and that's what I use on my face. I've had good luck with that. Um, I also like Burt's Bees. I, I just like things that are good for sensitive skin. And then uh, I'll show you what's in here. And then the bottom drawer is where I have my, my things for my hair, like my blow dryer and my flat iron. Um, and then I'll just take you around the room so you can see the entire room. Thanks for coming along with me as I decorated my master bathroom. The next video is going to be how to hang curtains, some tips on how to do it on a budget and how to easily do it. So I hope to see you on the next one.